what you've been doing from beyond the horizon. These wild waters seem hard to me. They've seen much to chill the blood. A deep a heart of fire. But they always promise the freedom of the sea. Now, though, a new danger is coming on the tides. Already a change this world to its liking. And if what it wants can't be found, it will take everything. Want to know its name? The one who brought this ruin lie in iron below the feet of the barrier, trapped all forever in the sea of the dark. Nobody but its captain may tread below the deck of that ship. That means to learn the truth with your own eyes, you'll have to stop the way. But if the fairy man can catch you, your destiny might be there. Still listening. Then listen close. All you think you know about your life and death is only the beginning. With your heart still, you will see those closed shows with blue eyes. When you raise up the flame of souls, all I can do is show you the way. For the journey. If you read them right, then whisper what has been and what is yet to be. Whispers to help you save a pirate's life. Now make sail. The door is open. The prisoner is waiting. And our time is trickling away. Seek an adventure in salty old pirates, eh? Sure, you've come to the proper place. But keep a weather eye open, mates, and hold on tight with both hands. There be squalls ahead, 
and Davy Jones waiting for them. What don't obey? Perhaps he 
knows too much. He's seen the curse of treasure. You know where it be hidden. Now proceed at your own risk. These be the last friendly words you hear. You may not survive to pass this way again. Dead men tell no tales. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. What I wouldn't give for a change of scenery. Ah, oh, it's a foul wind tonight. Now, how did that old song go? Oi, down there! Ye paid the warnings no heed and set foot in Sailor's Grave while ye still draw breath at the risk of marooning yourself here for all eternity. Now that be what I call true pirate courage. Not like the scurvy sea devils who stole me plunder and jailed me up here. Me own crew, a bunch of treacherous curs. Ah, but this be no way to hold a conversation. Climb up here. And lower me cage. I'll make it worth your while. Well, it's a start, sure enough. But ye've barely begun. I'm strung up by this old ship beside me cage. But ye'll never board her from the ground. Hold your course and see if you can't make it over to her from where you are now. I'll wait. Are you still there? Did you drown? Blast it all! I can't see a thing from up here! You best not be pulling me, lad, for I've not seen it in years! They'll be back. There ain't gone. I thought he might be lost, or gotten yourself trapped for all eternity. But I think it's another trapped soul that brought me. Well, you're out of luck. The ferry no longer docks at any part in this blighted blister of a town. Now that's not a gap you'll cross, lessen ye grow some wings. But ye mustn't give up. Ye see, I happens to know of a way to call the ferryman back to these shores. That's the way. Or oh, he can taste me sweet, sweet freedom. Well, ye took your sweet time, but here we are. Now, ye just need to lower me cage very, very gently. Ye understand? Huh? What was that sound? He's killing me! Aye, it's not exactly a dignified reunion. But I do welcome being back on the ground. I hope the fall might bust open these here bars. But it seems I'll be needing another favor from you. If ye can hunt down me mutinous crew and find the key to me cage, well, once I'm free, we might just be able to strike a bargain. Me crew wouldn't let the key out of their sight. They probably took it along to celebrate their treachery. The roaches! Find the tavern, and you'll find me freedom.
Why, Hades burning beard! Ye found the key! Well now, a deal's a deal. Set me free, and I'll tell ye all that I can. That's the way. I'd be fearful that the lock might have rusted after all this time. Being that I'm unable to provide my own means of locomotion, ye'll have to carry me and make sure your hands are clean. I don't want fingerprints all over me skull. Sweet freedom! Ah, it feels good to see in more than one direction. All these years I've spent wondering what happened to me town and me treasure. Now, we've a long journey ahead, and I've yet to find me sea legs. So you gets about the walking, and I'll take care of the talking. Let's start by heading for the old lighthouse. Or perhaps you'd rather me take ye on the grand tour of me fallen kingdom. Who knows? There may still be plunder to find. Pirate games be the best of games. That's what I always say. to be good at cards. That is, I used to be good at cheating at cards. Grand old frog in poor Dougie's throat after so long down in the dark with not even an earthworm for company. Oh, you and you. Have you come seeking misery and abject woe? If so, you've come to the right scale. Poor Dougie's been robbed and left for undead by a bunch of mutant ears. All because. I had the nerves to hide away a wee retirement fund. Well, next thing I know, poor Dougie's been stuffed in the soil and left to moulder. I've still got my key, but without the treasure map, it's no more than a monument to poor Dougie's despair. Some swabby or other will have taken it back to town, I should I'll happily share the spoils if you can find my treasure. But I won't hold out hope. There's precious little of it left in Sailor's Grave, and that's the truth. Now, don't mind me. I'll get back to listing all the mistakes I've ever made in alphabetical order. A man could give himself eye strain doing his bedtime reading in the dark. Dougie's treasure, sure enough. Oh, what a glorious day. Let's see if my key still fits, and then we'll share what's inside.
Can't ye at least find me a cushion? never stomach his own recipes. Not much good at chess, neither. Now there's an idea. How about we show them how it's done? Stick me on old Bonesy's shoulders and I'll win the game for us. Hang it all. It's been so long I forgot about the house rules. We'll need to find something of special value, a trinket or similar, as a buy-in before we can play. Bells and barnacles! Is that the best ye can do? Well then, me rook goes to Queen's Knight 3. And that, matey, check and make it. Which means the contents of the pot be mine. A fine, fancy key, and I'll be bound it leads to pleasure. Sore loser! No matter. He never could play worth spit. Let's take this key and find the ship it opens. I may not be the pirate I once was, but I can still put the fear into them what knows me. I know you can hear me, ye cowardly curs. Drop what you're doing and get this bridge in order. We've a ferry to catch. I suppose I should tell ye my story. For when we sailed into the Sea of the Damned, it were a happy accident, for we were fleeing our enemies with a whole pack full of their plunder. By and by, me crew starts to grumble about returning to the living world. But I'd have soon have stayed with me loot for all eternity, rather than risk it out on the waves. This old place brings back memories the night I snuffed out the flame. Aye, and the lighthouse keeper too. Had to be sure the ferryman wouldn't come and part me from me loot. Now, I'm not what you'd call knowledgeable about contraptions and whatnot. But if I can borrow a body, I might be able to help. See if you can't sit me down on that headless heap of bones over there. Ah. New body at last. Not as handsome as me old one, but they say beggars can't be choosers. There! It's just like sailing a sloop. Ye never forget how. Now, let's see if we can't find some clue as to set this place ablaze once more. First, see if you can't light the brazier with that fancy flame of yours. Of course, lighting up the town is all well and good. But you'll need to point your flame out to sea if we're to call the ferry. Find no welcome passage on her decks. Those hooded fellers are what you might call in charge around here. And they won't suffer the living to board her. The only way ye'll sail aboard that ship is to stow away. I wonder if their little secrets still be stowed about here. The 
key to me cabin after all these years. The Keeper took it when he ratted me out to the others and they set upon me. Me ship'll be a sight for sore sockets, sure enough. But this moldy old body won't last five minutes out there, so I'll need ye to be my transport once again. At least till we reach me ship. Take me to me ship with the red sails, and I'll see ye safely aboard that ferry. on the seas. By my reckoning, no one ever dare tell me different. A piece of advice. You always have a secret way back to your own ship. To me, Calvin! Captain on deck! Sorry, Captain. We, we, we just got carried away. We, we didn't mean nothing by it. I said we never should have mutinied. Good to have you back, Cap.
sure I used to be taller than this. This key will let you through the side door of me cabin. For here is where we be parting ways. There's a rowboat over yonder that'll carry ye onto the ferry. Quiet as a church mouse. But I wonder. Do ye really know what's waiting for ye below her decks? Not all treasure is silver and gold. Me crew are free, and me conscience is clear. But I've still plenty of thinking to do. Perhaps one day, we'll meet again. Now take the key and be off with ye, before ye find yourself trapped here for good. Ye've made an old sea dog happy today. This key's the least I can do. Watch where you step. The treasure what cursed me may still be lying about. lingered in this forsaken place, who have learned the price of breaking the pirate code. You have suffered under the weight of chains forged by your own misdeeds, and now your time is served. Though you shall not fully remember your time in this place, Perhaps some remnant of understanding will accompany you when you step through my portal and return to the living world. Perhaps not. And we shall meet here again. For now, we must make sail, and quickly. For strange ships now patrol these endless waters, and ours is the longest voyage of all. Stop! The cursed flame you carry has no place within my well of fate. Do not attempt to meddle with power beyond your comprehension. The very secrets are laid bare. I cannot surrender the wheel, but I entreat you. Do not continue to trespass here, for you do not understand the truth of what you seek. Come on, Dougie. Come to Jack and get the bone. Come to Jack and get the bone. Good boy. This bone's much nicer than those rusty old keys. Look, I'll try a bit first. Three? Mm, not bad. In salt and rosemary. Now, if you bring your flea-ridden hide, just a little... I know what you're thinking. That dog is never going to move. Therefore, I propose a wager. Let's see if I can lure him over faster, and you can take the keys from his mouth and let me out. The winner gets this delicious bone. Endeavouring in escape, silence is generally best. However, as I've had no one but a recalcitrant mutt to talk to for far too long, I shall bow to my collegial nature and introduce myself. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. Though, since you came here to rescue me, you probably knew that already. Then you must have heard tell of my heroic journey to acquire this. Greatest pirate treasure of all. A golden key to other lands, in eternal freedom. Plundered from the lair of a heartless squid, and used to assist in the daring escape that led me to stand before you now. Shiny, isn't it? Yeah. 
You know, I haven't had so much as a crumb to eat since I got here. Well, I'm not completely sure where here is exactly, but it's sorely lacking in dinner options. I'm a shadow of my former self. Then again, the captain seems a dreary sort of fellow. Probably enjoys dried biscuits. Wouldn't even tell me how I came to be aboard this sad little ship. The last thing I remember was standing at the helm of the Pearl as we made our escape. Suddenly, there was a loud, booming, cannonballing sort of noise. A cannonball, perhaps. The scenery's not very inspiring, but it's good to stretch me legs. Now, let's get off this ship before... Stay where you are! That happens. You, from the living world. Why have you interfered with my work? The selfish actions of this Pharaoh have brought catastrophe in his wake. Dire fortune that now threatens to consume the sea of thieves itself. That's Captain Jack Sparrow, mate. And I think you may be overreacting just a smidge. I know the true worth of what I possess, and I intend to keep it quite safe. Now, I can see you're very busy, very grumpy, so we'll just be on our way. Silence! You shall be returned to yourself. And this time, the key shall be cast overboard into the abyss. What you possess must never be permitted. You see the folly of your actions? Already the sands of time have trickled into oblivion and we are discovered. He has found us. They have our scent now. We cannot flee. Therefore, we must fight. Two arms! Steady, mate. That's the Flying Dutchman we're talking about. She's no ordinary ship. Then, upon the waves of my domain, she will find herself well matched. Play your part, pirates! The cannons stand ready. Unleash the fury of the dead upon this interloper, that we might put an end to calamity before it begins. I believe that means he'd like us to use the guns. Give me to board us! Defend the ship, or all is lost! And what do you suggest our defender with, mate? I forgot to bring the bow! Oh, very well. Take my blade while I steady our course. A dead man's sword for a dead man's hand! Not heed my warning. Now Sparrow is lost, and our enemy has the treasure in his grasp to fulfill his dark ambitions and lay siege to the Sea of Thieves. Already his plans are in motion, deep beneath the waves. You have caused much harm this day. However, you fought bravely. I shall return you and your vessel to the land of the living, so that you may continue to fight. Fight to save all that you have endangered. Fail, and you shall bear witness as this world too falls under the shadow of Davy Jones. <laughs> Thank you.
Again we meet. And now you understand the truth better, yes? Because of the treasure he stole, Jack Sparrow lost his freedom. And now that same fate come for us all. The fairy man, he knew all about the treachery face. Not from his prisoner, no, but from the darkness that followed that prisoner from beyond the horizon. The flying Dutchman and its forsaken captain, David Jones. You have heard a name before, I think. Maybe in a bedtime story. But the danger him bring to the Sea of Thieves is more than just a tale. Now that Jack's treasure is in Jones's possession. If David Jones is not stopped, this world will sink into shadow. Jack is the only one who held the key to reach David Jones and take back that treasure. But now, poor Jack is beyond our sight, set adrift in the sea of the dam. Still, we may not be so lost as that, for Jack's destiny is a tangled web tied with the fate of him The Black Pearl, a precious gem, sunk to the bottom of the sea in her desert. Maybe even a way to reach those who are lost. This journey is a treacherous one. The seas have many secrets, long since forgotten. What you think you know of its past is only a glimpse to the door that David Jones opened. But now, I feel we have no choice. Take these papers and study them. Then, dive into the deep and find the heart of the sunken pearl before the dark water swallows her forever.
fearless crew of this once proud vessel. They fought so bravely, but now they are captive. Their lives held forfeit. And now a flame of hope descends into this cold darkness, born here from the world above the waves. I beg you, do not abandon them to their fate. That which you now possess will guide you onward. I shall use what little influence I have to light your way. You are so close now. Please, just a little farther. This is the final step of your journey. You shall be able to proceed no farther into the spire. For this is where my ocean crawlers shall destroy you. Kill them. <laughs> So, you have steel and a little skill. Perhaps I will let you live long enough to meet my beloved daughter. dwellers knew of our history. If you understood what we had lost, and all that we seek to reclaim, you would never have trespassed here. This is not your world. You exist here only as long as I allow it. We have slumbered for countless years, but now we have awoken. And we are hungry. There is so much you do not comprehend. And so little of your life left in which to learn the truth. to my royal guard. You shall join the others of your species and sing for me for all eternity. So, you insist upon defying me? Very well. 
Then this shall be your final end. of what awaits the sunken Black Pearl. You must not attempt to board that vessel! It still contains much that is precious to me, and I shall not permit you to defile it with your witless thievery! Dance!
face to face at last. What strange creatures you land dwellers are. How comical. And yet when I stare into your eyes, I sense you truly do not know why it is we sirens despise you so. No matter. You are to be granted a singular honor to have your life ended by a monarch of the sirens. We who have ruled below the waves for centuries while your species scratched and squabbled in the dirt. Now, bow down to me and die! There is love, but that's one dream I'm glad to be woke from. Aye, oh, my head's still ringing. What I saw was so sad. There were words, too, weren't there? Ah, it's all fading away. Me, I just as soon as not remember. Oh, I assume we have you to thank for our rescue. After we were captured by those scaly songstresses, I thought we'd be fish food for sure. Joshimi Gibbs, at your service. First mate of the Black Pearl. Well, former first mate now. The Dutchman, she finally overtook us, and we were dragged down right along with her. But then, as you're in possession of Jack's compass, I'd wager you've already seen the fate of the Pearl. As to her captain, since you're here, might I surmise that Jack's not quite as dead as we were led to believe? Got himself into a whole new world of trouble, I'll be bound. If the captain's in peril, we gotta rescue him. And get captured again! You heard what the siren said. Davy Jones wants to turn this place into his new locker. And we were just first in line. Besides, you know the code. Anyone who falls behind is left behind. I, Anna Maria. And where would that have left the three of us if not still part of the ornamentation? Oh, I think the pirates in these parts have expanded on the code, as it were. Also, the captain's still got the treasure, so we can't go home until we find him. Oh, I hate it when you have a point. Fine. Rescue it is. Where do we start? Well, we brought Jack back from the dead once before, so we know it can be done. We all just need to put our heads together with anyone who's willing to help. Oh, and I'll be needing Jack's compass if we're to find our way to friendly shores. But we've still a debt to repay, so we'll gladly help you any way we can once we've reached land. If the winds be fair, we'll meet again soon. For now, farewell. Thank you. 
to do what you do. To plunge into the icy depths and face the hatred that dwells below the waves. That is not easy. But in the dark, you found the heart of the Black Pearl. Her loyal crew. Mr. Gibbs, you are no longer my only guest. Ah, we meet again. This fine woman's been telling me about this sea of thieves we found ourselves upon. Seems we won't be wanting for adventures here. Unless, of course, the goings on in the Sea of the Dam. I, I have been telling Mr. Gibbs that the Sea of the Dam is a place shit by the lives of those who live there. The cursed captain, he not know it. But the town where him spent eternity is drawn from him own last past. And that's what's got us thinking. If we can follow footprints to find the boots what's made them, we can use a man's life to find the man. Now I've sailed with Jack Sparrow longer than most, so I've more than a few tales of his past misdeeds tucked away in the old mazard. Our lives are treads in a tapestry. They loop and they tangle. The stories Mr. Gibbs tell helps me tease out the golden thread of Jack's path as it winds through the sea of the damned. Now it falls to you to follow it. But, uh, as to Jack's precise location, we're still in a bit of a loss. You'll need this back for the best chance of finding him. If what you want most truly be to save the Sea of Thieves from David Jones, then the compass will point the way. All I can do is draw back the lane. Before you go, there's plenty about Jack's life that's strange, or peculiar, or downright inconceivable. So I've scrawled down all that I can in these here notes. You'd best take them for the journey. I'd tag along, but if I try to leave without making reparations to the last Lorena, who gave us food and lodging, not even the Sea of the Dam will hide me. Best of luck to you. We're all counting on you to bring Jack home.
are you, Mr. Cast a coin and silver antlers. The grand the The others have cast me out till I said things right. They say she has a lost love of her own. Until we locate this sparrow, we'll check the hole, sir. 
Jack Sparrow, he... he escaped somehow. I know. Then they will never stop. I'll tell ya! Yeah, with me brother! Me, me twin brother! I can almost reach the lock! About me final meal! I fancy a roast chicken, I do! Gallianse! You perros want your freedom? The executioner will set you free soon enough! <laughs> sir! Ships of the Horizon! Their colors? No, sir! That means... Pirates! Dwarves! Mandagons! Affairs, there'll be no power living or dead 
It'll save you from my blade. <laughs> or my thunder will burn the city to the ground. They need a bit of persuasion. They need fire at will. We are no food and dead. We are not afraid of you. Take the barriga. It's Captain Jack Sparrow we're at. And a fortune in gold. Run up your white flag. <laughs> to the ground. The treasure, you build rat. Do not tell him, Carlos. No, 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 no. Oh, master. <laughs> Scanali, you fuck. No, no, por favor. No. no. Scurvy scoundrels, do I hear ten? A hen for a ten. Not less they be laying golden eggs. <laughs> Pipe down, you lily livered lubber. Eggs, send them hens to David Jones. <laughs> it's the gold they want. Yeah, the gold. Belay there, you bilge rat. Strike your feathers, dearie. Show them your flock. <laughs> Quit your clucking. The gentlemen want the gold, don't you, boys? We watch the gold! We watch the gold! Drink up, me arties! Yo ho! Yo ho! Everyone an egg lay! Now, you scurvy scotch! Do I hear ten? A hell for a ten!
Drink up, me hearties, yo ho! A toast to piracy and its many shiny rewards. I humbly accept this magnificent treasure as my reward for a life of villainy, larceny, skullduggery, and persnickety. Nee. Drink up, me hearties, yo ho!
Let them taste the triple guns. Tentacles wrap around my ship. The crew watches helpless as I stare into the crackers. The lovely Elizabeth weeping for the life we'll never share. And young Turner brought to his knees by my heroic display of self-sacrifice. Abandoned ship. Abandoned ship or abandoned ship. Hello, Lisa. I whisper with such determination that the Kraken itself understands exactly who it's I suppose I could have been let it slip back into the depths. We had not scuffed the paint of my precious black pearl. Jack Spar. Our debt is settled. Now, who wants to give us long another try? We're double the black these really bad eggs. No, that's the chorus. Don't worry. My favorite. The living may not enter this not hallowed bad, haven of the honored is. dead. Be gone! I said be gone! Ye scurvy! Wait! I remember ye now! It's me, your old shipmate from the lighthouse! Many a month since I've set eye sockets on ye, mate. For me, I mean. Time flows differently here. Ah, I love oh, I've song. had some grand adventures since he set me free. But now, I guard this here threshold. Normally flesh and blood types be forbidden. But I reckon I owe you a debt. In ye go. But try and keep out of trouble. Yo ho, yo ho. It's all right. Stay with me. Don't tell me. You're here to rescue me. Considering the success of your previous efforts, or lack thereof, pardon me if I decline your assistance forthwith. Besides, I'm not presently in need of rescuing. This is the first place I've found here where everyone appreciates my unique uniqueness. And no one's tried to lock me up. So, pull up a chair, grab a glass, because I have an eternity of stories to tell. Oi, you have my compass. But I left that back on the Oh, so you've found the pearl, eh? Well, don't think that's going to drag me out of here. From what I hear, this so-called Sea of Thieves is nothing but cursed crews, the blasted trading companies, and antisocial skeletons. Oh, yes. And now, one Davy Jones. I've done searching already, Savvy. There's nothing there for me. I'm afraid you're wrong, Jack Sparrow. That's Captain Jack Sparrow. No, I don't think so. A captain doesn't abandon his ship, or his crew. And just whose moustache do I have the dubious pleasure of addressing? Sir Arthur Pendragon, captain of the Black Witch. It was pirates like this that helped me when I lost my crew, and my hope along with them. They reminded me that our Sea of Thieves is a special place. A place where you can be a pirate, and a good man. A place where anything's possible. Even falling in love with this idiot. Where we're stronger together. Somewhere worth fighting for. A place where we need nothing more than the open waves and a ship beneath our feet. A place we can be free. What a ship is, is freedom. Well, now that you're all finished, I'll be taking my compass back. If you'd be so kind. What I want most. Sonny, 
seems to be pointing outside. Wait! For luck. Not sure I deserve that. Leaving so soon, mateys. Give a fair wind. I spy a way back to port out there on the waves. Be swift now! The Sea of Thieves, eh? Bring me that horizon. Not a bad little ship. There she does seem a bit like her essentials. Hammocks, pillows, my own personal cabin. But never mind that. Let us return to the land of the living. To the Sea of Thieves. Quick as you like. Chop, chop. This is one of those moments you're not soon to forget. I, on the other hand, have forgotten it already. Traveled to the sea of the damned, walked its shores, and found one last in his own past. Not many can walk beyond the veil that way. The things they see steal away their minds forever, till they even forget that dim dead. But Davy Jones will not forget how you stood in him. Now will him forgive the Siren Queen for failing him. He... Wait! We are not alone. <laughs> you know you cannot hide from me, Jack Sparrow. Uh, I wasn't hiding. I was eavesdropping. Vastly different pastimes. Dare him stand. Another pirate who's twice come back from the land of the dead. Who escaped the raid on Isla Tesoro and even found the Fountain of Hood. Hey, have you been gossiping about me with this strange, book-obsessed individual? Whatever they've told you, it's not true. Unless it's flattering, in which case, it's all true, but they left out the best bits. The man who stole the only trinket that can reach David Jones. A pendant twin to the one Jones himself possesses. How can you know all this? That pendant belongs to me. You can't be. Aye. This time it was to see what brought you back to me, Jack. See it's all, man. Look, Calypso. Uh, shouldn't you be floating on a cloud of bubbles, whatever it is sea goddesses do? And while I'm asking the questions, am I alive or am I not? I look like a ghost. I can turn invisible. Yet I can still touch my belongings. The Sea of Thieves is a hunting place. It bestows many gifts, even upon the dead. That is why I followed the Black Pearl here. To protect these sacred waters from Davy Jones and that which follow him. That is all the answers I have. Now you must listen. Davy Jones knew that the pirates of this world threatened him with lands. So him summoning his own dark version of a brethren god. Made of those cruel and corrupted souls who long to rule the sea of thieves. 
in power will be greater than ever before. This is why I love running to old friends. You always have such cheery news. Ha! But if Jones is inviting his friends for tea, that means we know where to find him. And, by the by, my treasure. You speak the truth. And since you still hold the key to his fortress, with my sketches you can find your way inside. Think of what you want most, Jack Sparrow. It will show you the way. Right. Well, given that these are unfamiliar waters, and I lack a ship with which to sail upon them, critical decisions must now be made. <clears throat> You will always remember this is the day your crew was joined by Captain Jack Sparrow. Now, I know that's a great honor to bestow upon a humble vessel such as yours. Don't you worry. I promise you won't be an imposition. Theodoma, about that treasure, if it was entrusted to Davy Jones, that can only mean... Hush! There are some truths not ready to be told. Their time will come when a deed is done. Now make sail with a jack and be swift. Oh, well then. See you aboard. It seems we have a long journey ahead of us, so I took the liberty of helping myself to some provisions. Now, Jones's fortress is practically off the edge of the map. But not to worry. I come to solve the land. Well, now we. Nice girl. Bit naive, yet still fierce. An interesting combination. The Reaper's hideout. Not much of a hideout if you put on the map, eh? The shores of gold. I like the sound of that. Let's go there next. The Devil's Ridge, the Devil's Roar, the Devil's Thirst. Once again, proving that pirates are on a map. Judging by the classic architecture and air of General Menace, I'd say we've come to the right place. And there's no one who's firing at us. It's not even a shooting young to surprise. Let's not waste it, shall we? This humble trinket once belonged to Teodolma. A twin to the one Jones possesses. And the key to his most valuable... Valuables. My crew found it on the deck of the Pearl after Tia was released, shall we say. What matters is this got me inside another of Jones's strongholds once before. Let's just hope he hasn't changed his tune. Jones assumes I'm dead and lost for all eternity, adrift on an ocean of forsaken souls. So it. Over here! Time to take a dip!
I was starting to think he'd taken a tumble. Not everyone's as steady on their feet as I am. Maybe crewed by a gang of antisocial shellfish. But this vessel is nothing if not paradise. Powerful, too. She was fast enough to follow the Black Pearl when we crossed the horizon with my treasure. And scuppered us before we knew it was one. Although, if the Dutchman sailed inside this fortress, she must possess some means of opening that big door beyond. All we have to do is find it. There was a time this ship had a proud mission. And a noble purpose. But that was long ago. Still, let's not disturb what we mustn't. Better let me. This ship has a nasty habit of making those aboard her part of the furniture. This mate is the inner sanctum of the most vengeful creature to sail the seas. And that spot right there is where I swipe the treasure out from under the nose he doesn't have. If we don't get it back, this will never be over. And again, statues. It'll take more than one wee pendant to get them singing. Now, this is either very old sheet music, or Davy Jones's secret recipe for liver and onions. See if you can make heads or tails of it. Working. Now we just need to wait for the song to end and... Assuming we survived that long. I may have been slightly mistaken about this shit being... Yeah. Just we disembark before he sends anyone else to offer us a warm welcome. Let us find out. As charming as this chamber admittedly is, this waterfall does present a conundrum. Allow me to assist via my newly discovered intangible my, my invisible my that thing I do where I walk through things. Oh. 
Oi, seems the sirens have been collecting trophies. Just hope the Pearl's been spared such a fate. She deserves far better. Well, that's lost to time. Just like everything else. Ah, listen to this. For seven sunsets, the sirens pursued us across these cursed waters, swaddling our ship in their song. The sound was beautiful, hauntingly so. But the carvings I found have shown me the truth. Theirs is a song of sorrow for all that they have forgotten. Their home, their kin, their past. The melodies of these truths have slipped into shadow, replaced long ago by lamentations of the lost. No wonder Jones controls the sirens. His song is also one of sorrow for things past. I don't suppose to see it's all, not that blue calypso. Happened to mention it to you, but they used to be close. He served ten years aboard the Dutchman just to spend one day at her side. When she didn't honor her part of the bargain, well, let's just say it made him the thing he is today. Right, that's enough of that. This place is full of forgotten treasures. There might be something we can use inside one of these wrecks. Ooh, now that's very shiny. And there's an entire box of... with a seal intact. If I could just... No, doesn't matter. I'll come back later. This looks like it could be important, or at the very least, valuable. Why don't you take it and scout ahead while I continue the search? Who knows what else Jones has buried down here? Cannot guard my locker and pirates sail free and interfere without consequence. That is why I have sought new orders. Jones. Obeys. Oh. The legendary Davy Jones is now in service to another. Tell us. Who might this fearsome individual be? The Blackheart, who absconded with my heart. Now, this dark brethren court has formed, and our strength will control the seas once and for all. What you promised may have bought our loyalty to the brethren, but not even Captain Flameheart has been able to conquer the Sea of Thieves. 
Why should we expect to succeed? Flameheart was blinded by his own rage. Obsessed with killing. Control of these waters is not about slaughter of our enemies. It's about what happens next. You're talking about the Ferryman. I, with the power of the treasure I possess, and the full force of the Dark Brethren at my side, we finally have might enough to destroy his vessel. And you will be his replacement. I am most certainly will, Warsmith. And only those pirates who swear an oath to the Brethren will return from my vessel. We'll command every pirate on the Sea of Thieves. Ah, but that's only the beginning of the Captain's plans. And those who follow orders will be duly rewarded. As a promised gold hoarder, 882 gold coins of immeasurable value. The Aztec gold of Cortez. Payment in full for your obedience. Cortez. Cursed. Ha <laughs> I, uh, by a treasure bathed in blood. The Aztecs delivered these coins to Cortez in exchange for their lives. And his conquests continued. Now, any mortal who takes so much as a single coin will be punished for all eternity. You yourself have paid the price for such greed before. It's not your concern. Once we've secured this world for the Brethren, he'll say it to us. Now, uh, the preparations are complete. It's time to bridge the worlds and take our rightful places as Lords of the Sea. Begin the ritual. So, he thought to challenge the rule of the Silent Queen. And now you've come to challenge me, interfering in things you cannot comprehend. Do you not fear death? <laughs> You'll soon land to. A world without the eternal abyss is a world frozen in time. You pirates here, hide within your devil's mouth. Frightened of the truth, 
that nothing lasts forever. When it does all crumble to dust, you will find no trace of glory, no freedom, no love, nothing to save you from the void. And as you stare into the jaws of oblivion, you will crawl aboard my vessel, beg for my salvation, and all I'll say is, what is that infernal noise? It's an infernal noise to you, mate, Jack Sparrow. You will not claim your prize the second time. Again, the ritual. They must not interfere. Not interfere. Oi! I'll never get my treasure back while he's this well guarded. I have to fit out their ranks first. Try to lure them into my sight. I'd love to help, really, but I can't do anything from here. That's it. That's the spot. Now, hold us steady. What's this? Gold? No, ammunition. Almost as good. Here, you better have these. Extremely bad! Ah! Enough! The ritual must not be disturbed. Gold Harder, dispose of them yourself. I obey. Have another plan, and this time it's a good one. You should probably stand back. Squid breath, something to worry about. Fire! Fire the Fire everything! And your ground go for that! I try at this moment, away! Get out of way! Did we win? This doesn't much feel like winning. And there's no sign of Jones. Also, no sign of my treasure. I have the disheartening sensation that we might not have stopped this little ritual after all. Well, at least we have one less member of this Dark Brethren to worry about. The flying Dutchman has set sail, and the Dark Brethren follow in its wake. You must return to me. You'd best jump down and find your ship, mate. Let's meet back at Tia Dolma's camp. I've got a nasty feeling things are far from over. Jack! You're a slightly ethereal sight for sore eyes. Still, I can't help noticing a particular trinket is somewhat conspicuous by its absence. I 
That's because Jones and his new friends still have it. Seems he used it in some sort of ritual before escaping back to the Dutchman. Extremely ungentlemanly behavior, of which I heartily disapprove. Hmm. With the treasure's power in his clutches, David Jones and the Dark Brethren can move freely between worlds. They plan to sail to the Sea of the Dams just as you did. To take it over and destroy the very man. And if that happens, only pirates who swear an oath to Jones will be allowed back from the land of the dead. But that means you control everything, and it'll be the end of this place for sure. And what are we supposed to do about all this? Jones has a whole fleet now, and we don't even have a ship. Well, I, for one, intend to get my treasure back, even if I have to swim for it. Fortuitously, there's a speedier alternative available. You! I'm commandeering your vessel, and all who sail aboard her for essential pirate business. Besides, you've got as much of a score to sell with Jones as I. Aye, it may be a lost cause. But if anyone can win a fight for pirates, it'll be Sea of Thieves pirates. Ah, still, there's a mighty bit of ocean to cover, and we've only one ship. Where would we start? The doorway to the Sea of the Damned was opened from this world, and now it must be closed the same way. But to find it, we need something special. Something touched by the hand of David Jones. But we ain't got nothing what belongs to Jones. Our safety holes in our pockets, eh? Wrong. I have something. Thought I might use it to open up a coconut. have our heading, it's time we set sail. Meet me in your ship's cabin, where I shall be hard at work strategizing a strategy. And then forth we shall sally. Savvy? Aye, and we'll see if we can't muster up some help at the outpost. Good fortune, and a fair wind to us all. Go. This is the last chance to stop Davy Jones. If we do not put an end to the Dark Brethren, the light of freedom will vanish from this world forever. Mate, I've been thinking about what Sia Dormus said. That the door Jones opened can only be closed from this side. If that's true, he cannot have left it behind. Now, I'm a man very much accustomed to thinking on his feet. But even I'm inclined to stock up on provisions before we sail to almost certain death. Plenty of planks, cannonballs, that sort of thing. Best not to head into battle empty-handed. Far be it for me to doubt the wisdom of the sea goddess, but 
Are we absolutely certain that this is the right cloud? Frankly, I don't think it looks much like Jack's. You're too late! Jack Sparrow! Oh, on reflection, I suppose there is a passing resemblance. Not to state the obvious, but it appears those watery witches have returned to lend Jones their power. And who have we here? Forgotten sailors? Forsaken by the ferryman, and brood that in the sea of the damned. They pledged their allegiance to me, and I promised them dominion over the world of the living. They will defend the spire until my work is done. You as was a persuasive spirit. Ready the cannon! The pirate life is nothing but a dream from which you soon shall wake up. You can always choose eternity aboard the Dutchman. In my day, pirates were not so arrogant. A husk of wood and metal is all that stands between you and the icy depths. Yet, you claim mastery over the sea, oh! You've no idea what true terrors lack beneath the waves. Either I've still got water in my ears, or something very bad is about to make it We'd best keep a safe distance from the brains of the Druids and the Skulls. The living will never outnumber the dead. If we concentrate our fire, we can destroy them. to join my cause. <laughs> Jack Sparrow, do you finally recognize the hopelessness of your predicament? Much as I hate to let Cretan's told squid me over there, he does have a point. We are becoming significantly outnumbered. Do not do so. Not while a light still shines in the darkness. The Sea of the Damned is a land of memories. Some good, some bad. Now then start to come true to this one. Shall I refresh your memory, Jack Slav? Lucky for us, I have an excellent sense of recall. Just hope I restock the if we sail together, our ship should be able to destroy the rest of these swarming statues. I hereby relinquish command of your vessel. Oh, thanks for the laughs. Back to you, scabbers dogs. Captain on deck. Raise the anchor, then load those cannons. And I don't mean tomorrow! Wait. Ah. Keep firing. You'll soon have to 
Closer to my new realm. End this madness, David Jones. Remember who you were. Calypso. This is a new world, David Jones. You are bound to no order upon these waters. The flying Dutchman need not chain you here. I knew you as a pirate. A man who was not afraid of him own heart. Out here, that man can live again. Come back to me. I... No. The point of no return is long since past. We are at war. Wars do not end with weapons, they end with words. I call for parley, David Jones. Ha! Ah, ah, ha! Parley? According to the code set down by Morgan and Bartholomew... Do you not see my sweet Calypso? You cannot invoke the right of parley, because... My dear, you are not a pirate. You are a monster, as am I. Then the man I love is truly dead. No, the, and no one shall be left to mourn his passing. Do you see where your courage has led you, Jack Sparrow? You and your friends shall die here alone. Two issues, mate. One, what happens have already be dead. And two, Captain Jack Sparrow and his friends are not alone. The captains of the dam have heard your call, Calypso. Prepare to heed it. We shall sail together. And we shall never bow to tyrants, no matter how powerful they may be. Especially not when they stink like the dead sweet. We're coming for you, Jones. Form up behind the black pearl. It's time we show this dark brethren what it really means.
that awaits you in my spire is Santa Dan. Brethren know they face extinction. All that remains is for them to decide where they make their final stand.
Gibbs. I see you've salvaged the pearl. Excellent work. Aye, well, it was mostly the doing of the merfolk, truth be told. They're quite marvellous creatures here. Oh, well then, I'll take my compliment back. Prepare to make sail, you lazy wretches! Uh, if you don't mind me asking, what happened to Jones? And what about the treasure we was after? And why is the captain still dead? Young man, I believe your questions are about to be quite conclusively answered. Fear not the wrath of Davy Jones. He's my prisoner now. And bound to the very vessel he sought to destroy. A fitting fate. With the Dark Brethren scattered and their ambitions at an end, I believe it is now safe to return this treasure to the hands of one who died defending it. I have weighed the worth of a million souls, and yet, I misjudged you, Jack Sparrow, and acted rashly. Such was my desire to prevent calamity. You captains of the damned have shown great courage and deserve a second chance at a pirate's life. That's better. And all the best bits seem to be in the right places. Well, I've just got my ship back, and we've just rescued everyone from certain doom. I'd say that entitles us to public adoration, free refreshments, and some grand adventures out and about on this freshly saved Sea of Thieves. Where do we start? Remember, Jack. You made her a promise. Ah, I'm afraid Tia Dawn was correct. I have some unfinished business that must, unfortunately, take precedent over any revelry in the immediate futurity. Be that as it may, Jack, we're still a bit short-handed. Excellent point. Our next destination lies beyond the horizon. Any pirates, formerly deceased or otherwise, who wish to throw themselves headlong into grand fun, battling unknown perils, are welcome to join the crew of the Black Pearl. That's a tempting offer, Captain, but my place is here. Protecting the Sea of Thieves from the likes of Davy Jones and the Dark Brethren. I will take my leave of you. My crew and I, likewise, have promises that remain unfulfilled. Now that we're back on the seas, it's time to make amends. Safe journey, Captain. Whatever your destination may be. Oh, well, I'm not missing out on fighting unknown dangers in distant lands. Sign me up. Me too. As if I'd let you sail off without me. I suppose you and I should part ways for now. After all, someone needs to stay and keep this place lively for me till I return, eh? Trust me, I will return late. Or my name isn't. Well, you know the rest. Work lively, you lot! We've got a horizon to cross! Get that anger raised! Hands to braces! And someone, please, strike up a tune. Bear away anchor, Mr. Scrum, as soon as the last of our guests has departed. Prepare to weigh anchor, Mr. Scrum, as soon as the last of our guests has departed. Time to get back to your own ship now, Savvy.
our anchor, Mr. Scrum, as soon as the last of our guests has departed. I really should get myself a proper mirror. We're rascal scoundrels, villains and things. Drink up, me heart is your hoe. We're devils and black sheep, really bad eggs. Drink up, me heart is your hoe. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me.